Okay, this one is a giant compilation video, and at the end of the video, I include a monster, which is um the blood a blood monster. Yeah, it's it like it it's kind of based off of I don't know. So first thing I'm drawing is this the smile goddess, and she's a she's an assassin. Kills people with her smile. Yeah, she uh, she's a weirdo. That, that's for sure. So yeah. Um, there's like another clip of her where I just have to draw. I try to draw her with a white gel pen on the background, and um, well, that isn't working. And I, I had to like go in later and use a paint marker. It's not in this footage because like. Oh man, that since I recorded with my phone, it's not like I'm gonna be able to save these clips and stuff. So I'm just kind of like doing whatever. I had to go out to the store and all that other stuff. Yeah. Later on, I um I draw like around four minutes and stuff. I draw uh the star. The moon and the sun goddess. In that order. And I know you see my hair some in some of these clips, and I'm sorry if that is really gross. I'm just I'm sorry. You're just going to have to deal with that that you see my my gross long black hair. Okay? So um <laughs> after that, um the the other one is the future goddess where I'm also drawing on a black background for the other one at the end. And that's after the Sun Goddess. Um, and, um, I mean, I guess I could say she has the ability to see in the future, and I think that's, I don't know, only in the future, though. Only in the future. But yeah, there. Uh, that's a preview of all the clips you're gonna see. So for now, I'm just going to edit while I'm talking. Uh, you won't see the editing because I'll be um, talking and all that stuff. Uh, I guess I want to continue talking about <clears throat> how I really enjoyed what uh, enjoyed Higurashi because. Well, technically, I had to cut myself short because I'm, I can't make an entire video on that, and I don't feel like getting this verified stuff. What? <laughs> what am I gonna do, huh? I'm not trying to, like, be whatever. I just wanna freaking get my art noticed. <laughs> just a little, you know? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I started with the anime technically, which was, it was almost my biggest mistake, because, oh boy, did I find the anime really exhausting. It was awful. And I, I was like, really disillusioned from anime for a while, because, because of how it it is. It's like for Higurashi, some of my other favorite ones and stuff. Like, oh, oh my goodness gracious. Um, sorry, you're gonna have to deal with the typing. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. After that, like, I rewatched Higurashi five to six times. Because I, I always wanted to end up at that point where Rika reaches her happy ending. And it was my favorite part. And, um, General Brent, the one they cry is my favorite, though. So. Mmm. -hmm. Amuru Hishi is my favorite. Uh, eventually, I bought into, like, Barnes and Nobles and stuff. Like, I used to just, like, look and buy, like, Hunter Hunter and Yu Hakusho manga. And eventually, I want to work on completing that collection. Because I am also a big 
um, Togashi fan as well. But yeah, but one day I saw Higurashi manga in there. I was like, oh, okay, I'll check it out. And I was reading it, and like, I found it. As I started collecting the books and stuff, I just found it way more compelling than the anime. Even, okay, the part with Watanagashi. Like, if you look at Watanagashi, he's just straightforward and you are kind of like an immature kid and, you're, and you just take everything set at face value. You will not like it and you might drop it, depending. For me, I really wanted to drop Higurashi when Mion told Keiichi it was the doll. I thought that was so stupid. But, um, it, it, that was just me when I was, like, growing up. Stuff. And that's what made me skip it to Kai. Like, in, when I was rereading it in the manga, whatever she said, it, it didn't matter. Like, when she said that line, because you can kind of, you can kind of see it, and you just get to see how close Keiichi is to Mion and how he really, they're really close and he cares about her. Like, and, and then, and then that line doesn't matter because like when I was reading the, watching Hiroshi, it was boring. But when you read the manga, it, it, like, before I did not want to read the visual novel because like, I'm not a reader. I'm lazy. I hate reading. I... Maybe I just didn't like reading a lot because when I did some reading sometimes, like, it was how I was raised all good stuff. Um, like, a lot of yellow. Anyway, I. Like, the manga makes it so that you feel, you care about the characters way more. But I watch. When, when I just. When I even read Kushi, like, just. Reading it, you get the sense that KG he is doubting whether he can trust his friends or not. Like, you, you know that he loves them. You know that you, you see his struggle, you see how he's like. But he, you also see how he's afraid. And it's just. was missing from the anime, but it's just like, things that made you care about them, even, like, it made all the manga, made, before you read the, the visual novel, and all that stuff, or, or when you watch anime, it made all that digestible, it made all of it understandable, it made everything, you could, uh, you could, you could see how they, who they really are, why they really matter, all their relationships. It just waters it all down. Like before, I kind of got the sense of friendship, but like the, when you go through the real one, it, you really, you really understand it. When you actually read the manga, when you actually read the visual novel, like I've heard there are fans that like more or something like that. I ignore them. They are not important. I will not engage with them. I will not speak to them. Sorry if you try.
Then I just started reading the Sumi Horoboshi visual novel. That was my first one. Plus, I did some research and I heard like that's the best part. So I started from there, and then I went to my next part in Minagoroshi, which is my favorite, my personal favorite. And I didn't know that they didn't have the thing where they brawl their weapons. I I thought that was the one cool thing in the anime. Okay, I'll let you have that. But that's it. That's it, man. And maybe a couple other things, but pff, not gonna give credit where credit isn't due. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!